Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the book named The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acor. According to the book and about 200 studies on 275,000 people worldwide, they found that happiness leads to success in nearly every domain of life, including work, health, friendship, creativity, and energy. So here are the seven things that are learned from this book. The first lesson is the happiness advantage, which means when we are happy, our mindset and mood are positive, we are smarter, more motivated, and more successful. Happiness is the center and success revolve around it. Some of the happiness boosters that we can use in everyday life are meditation, looking forward to something, act of kindness, and exercising. The second lesson that I learned from this book is that you can change your performance by changing your mindset. Happiness is not about lying to ourselves or turning a blind eye to the negative, but about adjusting our brain so that we see the ways to rise above our circumstances. The mental construction of our daily activities more than the activity itself defines our reality. Another lesson from this book is that train your brain to capitalize on possibilities. Training your brain to scan the world for opportunities and ideas that allow our success rate to grow. The best way to kickstart is to start making a daily list of good things in your job, your career, and your life. The fourth lesson I learned from this book is that try to capitalize on the downs to build an upward momentum. Study after study shows that if you are able to conceive of a failure as an opportunity for growth, we are more likely to experience that growth. It's about using the downward momentum to propel ourselves in the opposite direction. Fifth lesson from this book is that limiting your focus to small, manageable goals can expand your sphere of power. Feeling that we are in control, that we are masters of our fate at work, at home, is one of the strongest drivers of both well-being and performance. As Harvard Business School professor Peter Bregman advises, don't write a book, write a page. Lesson number six from this book is that turn bad habits into good ones by minimizing barriers to change. Common sense is not common action. That's why, even though doctors know better than anyone the importance of exercise and diet, 44% of them are overweight. The key to creating good habit is ritual, repeated practice until the good, good actions become ingrained in your brain's neural chemistry. And the key to daily practice is to put your desired action as close to the path of least resistance as humanly possible. Last lesson from this book is that make social investment. Social relationships are the single greatest investment you can make in the happiness advantage. So these were the seven things that I learned from this book. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.